how you doing today? My name's Ian. I'm with GuitarLessonsReviewed.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick three chord lesson. They're going to be easy chords, so if you don't know chords yet, don't worry. You're going to be able to get these ones down, I promise. We're only going to focus on the bottom three strings, so the E, the B, and the G. I guess we could think of them kind of as half chords, but all the notes that we're going to play will make up the actual chord. So, what we're going to learn is we're going to learn the three string G chord, we're going to learn the three string C chord, and I'm also going to teach you the D seventh chord. You can play these amongst each other in different patterns, and they sound nice together. So, let's start really quickly. What I'll show you now is the three string G chord. We're going to use our third finger, or our ring finger, and we're going to place it on the third fret of the bottom string, which is the high E. And we're going to strum those bottom three strings. Okay? Now I'll play an action, a full G chord for you so you can get the sound. There's a full G. Basically we're playing half a G. But it's very, it's, it's the best way to start out to get going. We'll show you a close up now so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So here's our G, or third finger, on the third fret of the high E string. So now, let's look at the C chord. So, the, C, the full C sounds like this. You don't hit the low E when you're playing a C chord. So we're going to play the, sh the three string C chord. We're going to take our index finger, our first finger. We're going to place it on the first fret of the B string. And we're going to strum those bottom three strings. Okay, so that's a C chord. Here it is close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Here's our C, where index finger, first finger, on the first fret of the B string. Okay, last but not least, this one will be a little tricky for you. This is the D7 chord. We're going to use all three of our first three fingers in this one. And once you see the close up of this, Practice making the position with your finger because it's a little tricky if you're not used to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first finger and again, like the C chord, place it on the first fret of the B string. We're going to take our second finger and place it on the second fret of the G string. And our third finger and place it on the second fret of the E string. So all together we've got... And if we strum those bottom three strings, we have the D7 chord. Here's the shape close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This shape can be a little difficult. So your first finger on the first fret of the B string, your second finger on your second fret of the G string, and your third finger on your third second fret, pardon me, of the E string. Practice to use the tips and Ensure that you have your thumb at the back and you're keeping it nice and square. Try to avoid having it over the top like this, because this will cause you to put your fingers down like this. Notice how they're slumped, and you'll start to blunt strings when you should have a nice, crisp connection with just the tips of the fingers. Okay. So let's play these all together now so you can get a feel for what we're, what we're playing. So I'll do the first, the G, followed by the C, followed by the D7th, and then I'll go back to the G again. So with those three string chords, practice that. That's the beginner, the primer, before you want to move into doing a full G and a full C. And they do sound nice together. So practice that, get down that D7th shape, that's a tough one, but your fingers will start to figure it out after you practice it a little while. And thanks for watching. Again, I'm Ian with GuitarLessonsReviewed.com. Happy practicing.